September 1, 1939. Nazi Germany invades Poland. Britain and France declare war on Germany two days later. World War II has begun. Two years later and millions dead. Yet the United States remains true to their policy and refuses to get involved unless directly attacked. December 7, 1941. The Japanese attack the American naval base at Pearl Harbor. The United States declares war on Germany and Japan. Hitler's brutal reign did not seem to be coming to an end, and news of Germany developing a new type of weapon was reaching the Western world. Grounds for the U.S. development of the bomb were rooted in the einstein zillard letter, which warned that Nazi Germany might develop extremely powerful bombs of a new type. This was of course referring to the nuclear weapon. The letter was written in collaboration by prominent physicists of the time. It was signed by Einstein and delivered to President Roosevelt in October 1939. After receiving the letter, President Roosevelt formed the Advisory Committee on Uranium to investigate the issues raised by the einstein zillard letter. The committee held a meeting on the 21st of October 1939, which was attended by a few prominent scientists who would eventually play a role in the Manhattan Project. The committee reported to Roosevelt in November that the uranium would provide a possible source of bombs with destructiveness vastly greater than anything now known. The Manhattan Project was a secret military effort from 1942 to 1945, located in Los Alamos, New Mexico, and was under the command of Major General Leslie R. Groves Jr. of the United States Army Corps of Engineers. Along with the participation of the United Kingdom and Canada, the Manhattan Project was the first development of the atomic weapon and led to the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The Manhattan Project had just started as a small research program, but ended up eventually employing more than 130,000 people at a cost of nearly 2 billion US dollars. Roughly 500 million dollars for each of the bombs built during that period. Over 90% of the total cost was attributed to building plants and producing fissionable material, while less than 10% of the cost came from the actual production and development of weapons. As the war progressed, pressure for a powerful new type of weapon increased. A few different fission bomb assembly methods originated from the July 1942 conference. Eventually, the team of physicists, led by Robert Oppenheimer, selected two potential designs. The first design was the gun method as seen in the Little Boy bomb, which constituted one subcritical mass of uranium-235 being fired into another subcritical mass of uranium through a hollow tube. The supercritical mass, which was then created, undergoes nuclear fission, which releases the heat and light energy of the bomb. The second design was an implosion type weapon using plutonium-239 as its fissionable material. In this design, a subcritical mass of plutonium was placed in the center of the device and surrounded by high explosives. When the bomb was to be activated, 32 detonators located on the surface of the high explosives would simultaneously go off and produce a powerful inward pressure on the plutonium core. This pressure would squeeze the subcritical mass and increase its density resulting in a supercritical condition and a nuclear chain reaction. April 12, 1945, President Franklin D. Roosevelt dies and is succeeded by his third vice president, Harry S. Truman. May 8, 1945, VE Day. The world celebrates the end of the war in Europe, though the battle in the Pacific rages on.
The first man-made nuclear explosion occurred in the Jornada del Muerto desert during the Trinity test on July 16, 1945. Similar to the Fat Man bomb of Nagasaki, the gadget, as it was called, was an implosion-type plutonium weapon with about 20 kilotons of yield. The date of the Trinity test is considered to be the beginning of the period known as the Atomic Age. One month into his presidency, Harry S. Truman is faced with a decision. Either allow for the war in the Pacific to continue for another estimated 18 months, or to use an experimental new weapon to force the Japanese into surrender. On July 26, 1945, President Truman, United Kingdom's Prime Minister Winston Churchill, and Chairman of the Nationalist Government of China, Chiang Kai-shek, issued the document which outlined the terms of the surrender for the Empire of Japan as agreed upon at the Potsdam Conference. The ultimatum stated that if Japan did not surrender, it would face prompt and utter destruction. Japan initially rejected the ultimatum, which then directly led to President Truman's decision to drop the atomic bombs on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. On August 6, 1945, the Enola Gay dropped Little Boy over Hiroshima. It produced a 13 to 18 kiloton blast and killed between 90,000 and 166,000 people. The bombing of Hiroshima was the first active deployment of a nuclear weapon in history. A short time ago, an American airplane dropped one bomb on Hiroshima. Three days later, on August 9th, Fat Man was dropped on Nagasaki, and similar to the Trinity test, produced a 21 kiloton yield, but unlike the Trinity test, killed 60,000 to 80,000 people. Whether or not Japan's refusal of the declaration was a justifiable reason to kill thousands of people, or that both atomic bombs needed to be dropped within such proximity of each other, are still arguments for debate. On September 2, 1945, Japan officially signed the surrender document aboard the USS Missouri, effectively ending World War II.